percent shooting for the Cavs on an 8-0 run. Wagner, the lob hit the rim. Bancaro cleans it up. And one. Young guys, the average age for Jamal Mosley's club is 24. And for so many of them, their first taste of the postseason here this afternoon is Bancaro scores at the Fultz just could not get a commitment. Then he goes to the rim. Mobley, great job of staying vertical, getting up and sending that one away. Bancaro steps baseline for the land. They've only hit a couple of triples, so the Cavs have been able to pack things in. Bancaro over Niang. Great vision. You get some communication, get some miscommunication on the defensive end, take advantage. Bancaro counters. The best part of that Garland move was the point over to the, <laughs> the other best point guard in the building. Stephanie White. That Cold shooting continues this quarter for Cleveland. And they've now missed 15 straight threes. Bancaro counted. And you and after Orlando got it down to a four-point game, the Cavs bounce right back. Bancaro hits from 10. And that's the thing, right? It's a game. Bangs and hits all day long. The Cavs have had an answer. As soon as Orlando starts to make a push, it's an answer. Bancaro, nice catch on the feed from Franz. He's so shifty and smooth. He gears down when he gets in the paint. Bancaro for three, hits it. 24 now for Paulo. This is where he can score the ball, averaging 19 per ball game. They isolate the left side for Bancaro to go to work. This match on screws, bangs, bumps, recoils, and scores. And that's what he does. He creates baskets, he takes baskets with it, and makes sure everybody touches the ball and gets quality shots. Screws out of hand of Mobley, spun around by the lunging Harris, who comes up limping back Carroll the other way in transition. And he muscles out a 15-footer on the right wing, up over Mobley. Puffy's had knocked it down. Ben Carroll sees two, spins away to get into a scoring area for 15 feet. Paolo Bancaro with a nice touch. Bancaro likes that matchup against Nia. He is lighting up. He's looking for each other. Both guys are unselfish. Want to see the other guy do well. Largest lead of the night held by the Cavs. They're up 20. Bancaro spins into a 15-footer. But he hasn't had a chance to put that on display tonight. Well, of course, Mitchell had 14 in the first quarter, so he was facilitating, making that extra pass to get Mitchell going. Bancaro works for his into the lane, and it's a fair. 17-point Cavalier lead. A minute left here in the third. Bancaro, again, operating at the point. Gets into a triple. Standstill three is good for Paolo Bancaro. Tall. And a turnover, Orlando on the rush. And the bird had Allen there inside. I don't know what happened right there. They just missed a little miscommunication as Paolo's able to play a little bit of bully ball and get it off the glass. Franz Wagner puts it low to the floor and trying to avoid Mitchell. 11 to shoot. And he comes. Oh. Finds at the rim for the two-hand jam. Thanks, Lauren. Nice report. And shots falling for Orlando. Bancaro off balance, knocks it down. As the Magic now have hit full time. Rebound Harris. Still, still can't get it going from three. Wagner maneuvers into the lane. Double team. Bancaro trailing for three. That's got to feel good as <laughs> Dribble. Gathers it. Levert moving well without the ball, but Harris. Overruns the play, steals, back Carroll the other way, slides into the lane, got bumped, followed it up and in. Runs with the three, comes off short, back Carroll another offensive rebound. Follows an active on the glass early on. Already five or six offensive rebounds. Straight away three falls for Bank Carroll. His second hit of the night from range. And the Magic, four of 12 through the bench score. 
Anthony has given them a boost with playmaking. Egypt for Van Carroll. Then he comes for a pass shot at about 12 feet. He didn't call bank on that one on purpose. He has shown no hesitancy at all to go to the floor on that knee that was injured in the first half of game two. Here's Van Carroll. Pump fake turn into a fade. Beautiful move. An incredible move. You got to be better. Suggs to Van Carroll up top. Works on Mitchell. The double move. Fade. And then comes back and gives the he's too small sign. Think the dribble. Orlando, one of the better young defensive teams we have in this league, and they're showing why tonight. Van Carroll stops. Pops. Hits. Oh, he's reeling them in now. He's using. Getting the match in another possession. Van Carroll steps back to three and nailed it. He's got it all going tonight. Very, a lot of poise, a lot of pace. Van Carroll, who is 17th in the NBA in usage at just under 30%. Now keep in mind, Luka, number one at 36%. That means all that stuff running through the hands of a 21-year-old. One time, and he asked Jamal Crawford, hey, man, what? What college is my man at? He said, oh, man, that gets 15. <laughs> so he, he's always been the guy that has been able to knock down those shots and play at a high level. It's, it's, it's surprising to me. I know it's surprising to Kevin. Because when we, when we saw him at halftime of that game, just running in the back, in the back, he was surprised. Right now, I'm just surprised at how many shots the Orlando Magic are knocking down. And he has been murdered from three-point range on this Cavalier ball club right now. Four of nine to three. To the baseline. Just inside the arc, he strikes it. And that shot finally drops in. Now you have another weapon on the court that's provided versatility. Second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Van Carroll, 15 footer. Got it. Paolo makes it a dominant center for Cleveland out of this game five with a rib injury. Van Carroll on the wheel, off the window, softly ended. And that's where not having Jared out. Hand on it. Subs will get it in the front court from Harris. Van Carroll thought about the jump shot. Baseline, he'll take the mid-range and hit. Paolo Bancaro. That's his height right there. Woo! Mitchell, Mitchell. Down, Gus. To the lane. Isaac Okoro started for Allen. He has eight points and three more. 57-51. Bancaro, step back, mid-range jump shot. Got it up high and in. Over the outstretched arm of Okoro. But Okoro's doing a... Uh, screen. Harris. Seven to shoot. Paolo Bancaro. Got it again. And a timeout call. By Cleveland. 20 points. Trying to chest. And we'll get that up. Big time. Bancaro. Oh, my goodness. Paolo Bancaro. Two. Motion. Wendell Carter. 
And Caro aims to shoot, thinking about it, gathers himself, pulls up, free throw line, got it. Apollo, their offensive angle is a lot more difficult to attack. And Caro thought about the three, guarded by Struz, spins on him, raises on him, and knocks it down on him. Apollo, Ben Caro, 3290. And you can feel the buzz in the crowd. Ben Caro for three. Knotted up at two. Van Carroll, one of the bright young stars in the NBA. Pull up Jay and buries it again. Paolo. Ingles comes in as an offensive substitution. Van Carroll fires and hits the three with three tenths of a second to go. And if you're going to play small, if you're Cleveland, you're not going to have the rebounding. You're not going to have some of that size. You're going to have to knock down threes, which they haven't done consistently thus far in this series. Van Caro, so smooth in the mid-range, leading the... Franz Wagner, a little basketball lesson about what's an over and back and not. Right, need all three points in the front court to establish yourself. Ooh, that's going to be a goaltend and a chance for three. Team in the first half. And Carroll spinning, taking, and hitting. Just that time. Wagner finds Carter. Van Caro through the legs into the paint. The reverse methodical and effective Paolo Van Caro. But this 13-0 run has been led by Donovan Mitchell. And it's 13-0. After the Magic scored the first two points of the third, now they respond with a bucket. The house. And Mitchell going back to the locker room. Off his substitution. Van Caro connects. On a three. A much. Van Caro. Sizing up Thompson. Van Caro fading and hitting. During these situations, Donovan Mitchell with the ball. You just hope that he can get some help when it's time to pass the ball and distribute. Van Caro, oh yeah! How about this game six? The Cleveland offense is very predictable right now. Van Caro spinning, flipping, and the foul! And Van Caro comes away with it. And right away for the Orlando Magic, you see their size and length at the rim. Garland not able to finish. Evan Mobley not able to finish. If you drive against them, they Evan Mobley is to become a volume three-point shooter if they're going to pair him with Jared Allen. Wagner gets his own miss, kicks it out. Montero nails the three-pointer. He's shooting 30 series, which has gone back and forth. Is there a role player for either team today who can step up, make four or five threes, and provide that lift and spark? And right now, Bancaro's just doing it himself. <laughs> right now, the star players are doing it. <laughs> Shot no good. Rebound, Bancaro. He's got 10 points, four rebounds, two assists. Drives inside the Euro step. Layup is good. A methodical, beautiful move from Van Caro. It's just so fun when you, you know, go off different feet as you're t attempting layups. You need to mix it up. Van Caro gets his own miss. Goes back up, banks it in. And a quick timeout from the Cavs. It's a 13-point. As we wind down the second quarter, the Cavs have come alive. And Carroll gets inside, Lamb banks it in. He's got 24 here in the first half. Big bucket put. On Carroll, tied up. Excellent defense there. Shot clock at seven. Wagner's double team. On Carroll's going to hoist up a three-pointer. That's good. That's his first field goal of the third quarter. Now has 28. The take on the offensive end, one-on-one -on -one against size. That is nice. Oh, Van Carroll comes down the other way and slams it, and it's 85-77.
And Carroll drives out of Coral, goes inside, double team, can't get it, gets it back, goes back up again, lays it up and in. Tough shot from Van Carroll, and he's hobbling right now. Donovan Mitchell's throwing him, no, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Van Carroll drives on Garland, goes all the way, and easy two. Just making sure no foul there with 49 seconds remaining.